In the last video, we, or I should say I, cleaned up the pictures area of my Lightroom catalog for this computer. Uh, it was not, there wasn't anything missing. It wasn't terrible, everything was there, but it had some really strange uh, categories, some oddball folders, some images that were sort of outside of things. So uh, I decided to go ahead and completely re revise it. I created these folders for the months of the year since everything was from 2020. And I went through and just reorganized everything into the months of the year and, and kept them within these subcategories um, but put them into different months. I still have some work to do. May was a very busy month, um, so I threw a bunch of stuff in there that still actually needs to be uh, renamed and categorized a little bit better. But at least I know that everything is within the month of the year. I could, it's a strategy I can keep going with, adding things when I get to August, and uh, it's a much better system. Okay, so in this video, I want to do a couple more things. First of all, I want you to show you, I want to show you a magical trick that we can do in Lightroom called synchronization. And then uh, after that, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to add things on uh, additional external hard drives to the same catalog and how to work with those. Okay, but first, synchronization. So we didn't look at this folder in the last video. I'm going to open it up now and you're going to see something hopefully familiar. Uh, so this looks like the folder exists. It's got 674 photos in it. Uh, but when I click it open, everything is missing. All the folders have question marks. Uh, if I click into here, all the images have exclamation points, that horrible thing that says, Photo is missing, which scares us all. Um, now remember, photo is missing does not mean that Lightroom has deleted your photos. Lightroom never deletes your photos unless you're very specific with Lightroom. And you probably didn't delete your photos either. It just means that you cheated on Lightroom. Probably in this case, I know in my case, I went outside of Lightroom and I did a bunch of rearranging and I forgot to let Lightroom know. I forgot to do it in Lightroom or to let Lightroom know. Now, this can make things feel terribly, terribly confusing. Um, and one of the options is to go searching for those missing folders. But of course, if you've rearranged, they're not there. So let me give you a magical, simple tool that will solve this problem. Well, if you've just messed around with your files outside, usually almost every case, about nine times out of 10, it's going to fix it and it's called synchronization. So I'm going to click on the whole folder. I want to synchronize all of this. Uh, this is something you can do with a subfolder, not a master folder. And I'm going to either right click if I'm in a PC or control option if I'm in a Mac. Scroll down, pick synchronize folder. And we get this lovely dialog box. And this is very comforting because, and this won't always be true, it's going to vary depending on what you're doing. Uh, but it's going to have these options, which I'm going to leave all click because I want it to do everything. Um, so you are, you're, it's going to import the new photos that it doesn't, uh, that it sees that it are in this folder. And by the way, the folder is right over here. Here's the folder. And you could see right away that I have definitely done some rearranging. But it says, yeah, there's uh, 676 uh, photos in these folders that it's never seen before. It's going to import those. It's going to remove the missing folders, which, gee, happen to be 674. Uh, it's not a coincidence that those are very similar because the missing ones are the ones that I've moved around. So these are the same files. It's going to throw away the missing references and add new ones where they are and do some metadata updates. Okay, and that is really uh, just that easy. I'm gonna click synchronize and you're gonna watch the magic happen. Here, I'll keep this down here so you can actually see them at the same time. So what you're gonna notice, all of this rearranging that I did here Lightroom is going to go ahead and import that new structure. It's going to just say, oh yeah, this is cool. I see how you did it. Giving me a folder named Fall 2020 because I renamed that folder. And then when I open that, 
it's going to recognize my new structure in here. It's going to find all the files in there, all the videos, everything that I've thrown in here. Now, it did say it failed to find a place for one file. I don't know what that's about. Let's see. Um, oh, I think, I don't know what it is. It's probably the file is really truly missing or it could be that it's a, the wrong kind of file. It may have some corruption. It's not a file I care about. So I'm gonna go back and just say, okay, I don't care. Uh, thanks for letting me know. And it'll take just a couple more minutes. So this is a great strategy. Uh, this is in addition to the strategy that you can use of just reorganizing folders within Lyrum or the other strategy I told you, which is to redo your folders and import them in again. Now, if you do that, what you wanna do is eliminate the old one. So these are all different ways of working with the, um, the fussiness that is Lightroom. Uh, but you can see, I think, once you get into it, that Lightroom is really has your best interests at heart. Uh, Lightroom wants you to stay organized, and so it's going to keep you on target. Okay. So there is the miraculous uh, synchronization. All it's doing now is building previews. So um, we're going to move on from this part and on to the second part of this video, working with uh, using your catalog to keep track of, it, of uh, files on external hard drives. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you here is unrelated to what we've been doing before, but is related to organization. I actually, uh, one of the things I pointed out at the beginning of this video is, is there's actually 46,000 photos in this catalog, uh, and there's only 2,878 actually on the computer. The rest of the photos that the catalog is referring to are actually on a pair of external hard drives. These are two external hard drives that I have. They're each four terabytes. So, um, I'm not sure they're quite full, but they both have quite a lot of stuff on them. And they are imported into this catalog. So you can see down here, one is called Big 3, and the other is called Big S Drive 2. And if you click them, you can see that there's actually quite a lot that is imported into this Lightroom catalog from these hard drives. But of course, they're grayed out. And the reason for that is not because these things have gone forever, but because the hard drives are not plugged in. So let me go ahead and plug in Big 3 so I can show you what's going on here because um, I'm actually in the process of using this external drive to reorganize all of my folders. <laughs> um, I have years and years and years of computer, of, of, of images, folders, uh, different types of things, um, as you can see, uh, over 46,000 on these two drives. Uh, so let me show you kind of what I'm doing. Okay, this is what it looks like right now. And you can see that these are now showing up. Well, not yet, they will be in a second. There they are. Okay, so now that the hard drive is recognized, you can see that all these things are actually live. If we go into the folder, nothing is missing because Lightroom is reading this plugged in external drive lots of different things going on in these. Uh, right now on this, on this drive, I only have two folders. Each of them have quite a lot. This has 14,000, this has 20,000. Um, but here's the thing, that's not everything that's on the drive. This is just a couple of folders. So what I've been doing with this one, because it's a major job, I could do this within Lightroom and I'm gonna do some of it within Lightroom, but I'm actually starting let me go back to Big 3 and show you what I'm doing. Um, so this is what Big 3 looks like now. I'm in the process of creating four large folders, which cover almost everything that I do. I may find that I have to have another one. Oh, and actually I do have this one, which is not on computer, because this is specifically a backup drive. Um, but I'm going to probably organize some of those as well. But I have A, birds, B, not birds. I know these are hilarious categories, but I shoot so many birds that not birds is a category. Uh, movies and classes. So these are the main things, main categories of photos. 
Uh, these are all actually things that will ultimately go into one of these categories. If you click them open, you see that I'm mostly organizing these by year. Some of these still have categories, but eventually I want to organize these by year. So this is a work in progress. So what I've been doing, because importing this many files into Lightroom can take an awful long time, is I'm doing some organization here, importing one file at a time, then I can go into that file once it's imported and do some reorganization in Lightroom. So I'm moving back and forth and ultimately, hopefully, cross fingers, um, these files will be completely organized into uh, a combination of year, possibly month, and also category. And that will ensure that I can find them. Uh, usually on every hard drive I have, uh, there's something which is not on computer. I make that note specifically so that I know that it is very important that I think twice before I toss these things out because these are things that are not on either of my computer hard drives. They're only on my external drives. I probably have a copy of them on another one, but I need to double check before I actually move or eliminate those. Okay. Now, I know this is maybe a lot more than you have, but this is the kind of, this is one, I would say that I'm maybe an example of why keeping organized as you go is really important so that ultimately you can keep track of all of the photos that you've made. Okay, good luck, be well, get organized.